so yeah, I haven't had my coffee yet, so that's what we'll start with. Cuban coffee in the morning. That's needed. So, everybody wakes up in the morning and they pretty much, the first thing they do is roll out of bed and check their phones. Um, I've been trying to break out of that habit a little bit because it's like, it pretty much sets you up for anxiety throughout the, the whole day. But um, I guess this morning was just a little different because when I checked my phone, I got a message from a friend of mine on Facebook and it said that he had checked in safe uh, for the incident that happened in Las Vegas. I had no idea what that meant because, again, I woke up, so I, hadn't, I had no idea what he was talking about. So I messaged him and I asked him, hey, what's going on? Uh, as of yet, I haven't heard from him, so I don't, I'm probably should, he's asleep or something. But um, I guess uh, I was going to talk about some other things today and basically just talk about some things that were happening in the world, and I guess this is kind of a, a big deal. So I'll get to the other stuff that I was going to talk about anyway. But um, let me just, for now... In case you hadn't heard, or you, you're going to hear about it in the next couple minutes, for sure. Uh, there was a mass shooting in Las Vegas Strip last night. Um, I, I think so far, only by one person, it's a, it, at, at a minimum, it surpassed what happened in, uh, in Orlando at the uh, Pulse nightclub shooting. So at least 50 dead, 200 injured. Um, so I guess it was a gunman on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel, and he started opening fire. I watched a video this morning, pretty much you can see other people like at a distance hearing the gunshots go off. So... Uh, I encourage everybody to not like panic or jump to conclusions on what's happening and let all the information come out and let let this not become a political device. So more information will come out about that later. Um, I don't I don't really have anything other than that, but I guess I, I was going to talk about like five things in the news today, and that just kind of went right to the top of the list. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with that. Like I was I really I was really going to actually talk about like five important things that were happening out of, you know today, but really that just takes precedence I mean that's a huge deal so if anybody if you if you have any family members who were there or anybody who's doing anything like happen to be celebrating some sort of event birthday wedding whatever you have it in, in Vegas and you know anybody like you know my heart goes out to you and prayers to be with your family and whatnot um I wanted to talk about Puerto Rico because I mean that's a big thing I'm Puerto Rican um and I, I actually wanted to kind of give a little bit of uh, I'll probably go into that detail more later but I wanted to get into some kind of information on why that's important for everybody else and some of the factors that led to being in the state that it is currently. But um, I also wanted to say to anybody out there who, if you know any, um, I'm really going to post a link right here um, to anyone who want to give donations or, or if you want to find a way to, to help with the Puerto Rican relief efforts um, or if you just want to donate clothes, I'm probably going to be sending some packages. I know some people in my neighborhood are doing the same thing. They're getting old clothes together. I had old clothes that I was going to sell or, or just like donate to but now that I know the need is greater, I'm definitely going to put together a couple packages. So if anybody wants to put any packages, either let me know or I'll post some links and you can go in there and just see what you can donate to or, or find the different ways. I know the Postal Service is offering discounts for anybody who's mailing stuff out there too. So if anybody wants to, to have anything to do with that or be part of that, hit me up. If, um, if anybody has any ideas or any other better ways that you know, please post a link, let me know, send me a message. I'll definitely um, touch on that. But um, I'm I'm just to throw it out, like I'm it's near and dear to my heart for one and I mean it should be near and dear to every American's heart because they're American citizens, but also because I'm I'm Puerto Rican. So a lot of people don't understand what that actually means. Like, you know, Hispanics get kind of lumped into like one larger category of just Hispanics or whatever. And there's there's different aspects to it. One thing is that um, Puerto Ricans are American citizens for one. Puerto Rico is a commonwealth of the United States. Uh, in addition to that, um, Many people don't realize that Hispanic people, for the most part, have indigenous blood, and specifically, you know, Puerto Ricans are um, indigenous tribe to the United States. So we, there's a lot of our history that a lot of people don't know, and I'll touch on that in probably another video because that's a whole other thing, and it's really important. But I think for anybody who wants to to, to give to those efforts, um, um, I know that for me personally, it's a big deal, and um, I wish that I could do more. I, if if you have any ideas, please tell me because I, I really, at this point, I'm kind of at a loss. I know family members that haven't people and they, they don't even know if they're alive they don't know what's happening with them like they just there's no communication some of the places that they're at there even if there was communication there's no way for them to access communication there's no way for them to access. there's the roads to some of the towns or the mountains and stuff. the roads are gone so there's no way for anybody to reach them with some of these things. so some of these people don't they don't know that people are coming to help them if anybody 
Um, and there's a lot of other political factors too. And, and I, won't, I won't touch into that too much right now. Everybody kind of knows those deals, but I'll get into that in a totally separate video. But I've been on Puerto Rico Relief now. So that, that's a, if you want more information about that, look at that hashtag. We just type in hashtag Puerto Rico Relief. Um, but yeah, the, the, this incident in Las Vegas just, um, it takes precedence just because it, uh, it's unexpected. I mean, uh, I don't have all the full details, I believe. How old was the guy? Was he 64? 64 years old, um, started opening five. I think the, the event was a country music festival. Um, again, I don't have all the details and I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of conflicting details. Uh, let's not all get into a panic or, or, you know, try to come up with reasons or let's not place blame on any one factor. As it stands right now, it's one guy. We don't know, at least I don't know uh, the, the intent or, or what the goal of this was. I mean, it could have just been one guy who was upset. I mean. Don't really know. So let's not jump to conclusions and start placing blames on any on, on anything that, that we don't fully understand. And as as the more information comes more information on that, if anybody has any ideas you want to talk about, let me know. And um, um, I'm gonna try to put out videos more more regularly and try to do things, things this line where you know maybe five things to know for today or ten things to know for this week or something like that. Because put, putting in these videos is a lot of effort and it's also a lot of work and it's just you know it's a lot for one person to do. And at the same time. Um, I want to maintain, you know, communication with everybody and also maintain like growth, but it takes a lot of work. So, um, any help from anybody else on their end would be greatly appreciated. So, um, hit that like button on this video, hit that subscribe button, a little bell thing for notifications when more videos come out. Cause we're going to be putting more on in the coming days. Um, if you like what you saw, appreciate it. And just remember it's free. So why not?